All right, guys, back for another Quick Tip Tuesday here. Glad to see you guys are liking the Quick Tip Tuesdays, getting lots of good comments on it. But hey, if you are new here, my name's Jay Yudlovsky, and we make a lot of videos about DaVinci Resolve here, everything from audio, love me some good audio, to editing to just help speed up your workflow, to tips, to tricks, all kinds of stuff in Resolve. So if you aren't subscribed, definitely subscribe to the channel. But today we're talking about a new feature that's here in DaVinci Resolve 17.4.1, and that is a new update to the tracking feature right here in the color tab. So let's jump in Resolve and check this out. All right, so we're in the edit tab here. I do have a few sample clips to show you just how the tracking works, but it's gonna be the same for each one. So check out the first one, and if you wanna see the rest, keep watching. If not, it's, it'll be the same, and it should work out just fine for you. So the first clip that I have here is a kid with a B on his face. What? I'm not doing that, that's crazy. So let's say we wanna track his face because we wanna make some adjustments to his face. So I'm gonna jump over into the color tab, which is the little color wheel down here at the bottom of the screen. Go ahead and click on that. So now I'm in the color tab. I have my clip selected. And I'm just going to make a new node to do this on a new node here. So I'm going to click in my node area. I'm going to use uh, Option or Alt S. Going to add a new node in for me. Next, I want to come to this guy right here, this window tool. We're going to go ahead and add in a circle. Want to put it over top of his face. And we're going to use this method to track his face. So now that we got our power window over top of his face, we're going to come to this guy right here, which is our tracker. And now if you look in the tracker window here, you're gonna notice there's a new tool and it's this guy right here. It's track forwards and backwards. So if you remember in previous versions of Resolve, if you wanted to use this tracker, say you were in the middle of your clip or something, you had to track it forward and then you had to track it backwards, right? You had to go each way. Well, this button is gonna allow you to just track forward and backward all at the same time, Resolve's gonna do the work for you. Check it out. So once you select your options here that you might want, I'm just gonna go ahead and click this forward and backward track and it's gonna do the work for me, track forward and then track backward. So it doesn't matter where I have my playhead, it's gonna track forward and backward. And now once we've got the face tracked, then we can come in and make any kind of changes we want. You know, maybe he wants to be dark, bright, I don't know, whatever you might wanna do, any kind of change. You wanna make him ah, purple, whatever you wanna do, now you can track it along with his face. Now these other examples, same kind of thing, right? We're gonna come in here, create a new node. I'm gonna go ahead and add in the ellipse or the circle here. Kind of resize it a little bit. Now I'm going to track her face forward and backward. So let's just put our playhead right in the middle uh, of the clip here. Kind of bring this on top of her face. Eh, maybe make it just a little bit bigger. And then I'm just going to come to my tracker, which is this guy right here. We're going to track forward and backwards. Let's say uh, I don't want to do the rotator, the 3D. Let's just track it forward here and backward and see how it works out. Pretty good. And backwards. All right. Now this is a case where I would definitely want to brighten up her face a little bit. So let's just come in here. We can, you know, just brighten her up. Nothing fancy. Just to get you the idea of, of what we're doing here, right? Maybe I even want to come into the curves and just, you know, boost up the curves a little bit. Too much, but you can see what it's doing there, right? So let's say maybe uh, we wanted to smooth it out a little bit, you know, blend it in a little bit more, put a little more on her face. All right, whatever. You know, it's not perfect, but you get the idea. It's just to give you an example of how this tool works here. So now if I play, uh, play our clip forward here. So that is today's Quick Tip Tuesday tip in a nutshell. You can track forward and backward with this new tool here, Individual Resolve 17. It's great how they just keep advancing this program and making it easier to edit, making things quicker, and just adding tools that we can use, you know, every day in our edits. It just it just helps make your workflow better and uh, helps you edit quicker, right? And we all love that. Who doesn't want to get your projects done a little bit quicker, right? So that wraps it up for this Quick Tip Tuesday, guys. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up for me. You learned a little something. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.